Once upon a time, in a quaint little farm nestled between rolling green hills, there lived a happy and diverse group of animals. Among them were the chicks and ducks, who were the best of friends. Their friendship was unique because, unlike many other animals on the farm, they were very different from each other. The chicks were small, fluffy, and yellow. They loved to hop around the farm, pecking at seeds and insects. They were early risers, waking up with the first rays of the sun, and their cheerful chirping would fill the air, announcing the arrival of a new day. On the other hand, the ducks were larger and had sleek, waterproof feathers. They preferred the calm of the pond, where they would glide gracefully across the water, their webbed feet propelling them effortlessly. Ducks were known for their quacking, which they used to communicate with each other and sometimes just for fun. Despite their differences, the chicks and ducks got along splendidly. They spent their days exploring the farm together, sharing stories, and even having races. The chicks would hop and flutter, while the ducks would waddle and swim. It was all in good fun, and they cherished their unique bond. Despite their differences, the chicks and ducks got along splendidly. They spent their days exploring the farm together, sharing stories, and even having races. The chicks would hop and flutter, while the ducks would waddle and swim. It was all in good fun, and they cherished their unique bond. One sunny morning, as the chicks and ducks were gathered near the pond, they noticed a commotion at the other end of the farm. The farm owner, Mr. Thompson, was talking to his wife, looking worried. What's going on over there? wondered a curious chick. I'm not sure, quacked a duck, but it looks like something is bothering Mr. Thompson. The chicks and ducks decided to investigate. They hopped and waddled over to where Mr. Thompson was standing. What's wrong, Mr. Thompson? asked a brave little chick. Mr. Thompson sighed and explained. Well, you see, our farm has been going through some tough times lately. We've had a drought, and the crops aren't growing as they should. We're running low on food and I'm not sure how we'll make it through the winter. The animals listened with concern. They knew that a harsh winter without enough food could be very difficult for everyone on the farm. The ducks exchanged worried glances, and one of them quacked. Is there anything we can do to help, Mr. Thompson? The chicks nodded in agreement, their tiny heads bobbing up and down. Mr. Thompson smiled at their willingness to help. Well, he said, there might be something you can do. You see, the farm down the road has a plentiful pond with lots of fish, and they've offered to share some with us. But it's quite a distance to travel, and I'm not sure how to get there. The ducks looked at each other, their waterproof feathers ruffling with excitement. We can help with that, quacked one of the ducks. We're excellent swimmers, and we can carry some fish back for the farm. The chicks chirped happily, knowing that they could contribute too. And we can help by keeping an eye out for any food along the way, suggested one of the chicks. We're good at finding seeds and insects. Mr. Thompson's face brightened with hope. That's a wonderful idea. If you chicks and ducks work together, we might just have enough food to get us through the winter. And so the plan was set in motion. The chicks and ducks gathered near the pond, ready to embark on their journey. They bid farewell to their fellow farm animals and set off with their spirits high. The journey was not without challenges. The path to the neighboring farm was long and filled with obstacles. They had to cross a bustling road, navigate a dense forest, 
and even outwit a sly fox. But the chick's sharp eyes and the duck's swift swimming skills kept them safe and on the right track. As they reached the neighboring farm, they were greeted by friendly farm animals who were more than willing to share their abundance of fish. The chicks happily pecked at seeds and the ducks filled their beaks with fish. With their bags full, the chicks and ducks began their journey back home. They sang songs, shared stories, and laughed together, making the long journey seem much shorter. Finally, they arrived back at their farm, where Mr. Thompson and the other animals were eagerly waiting. The food they brought was enough to fill the barn and ensure that everyone on the farm would have enough to eat during the winter months. Mr. Thompson was overjoyed and thanked the chicks and ducks profusely. You've shown us the true meaning of friendship and teamwork, he said with gratitude. The chicks and ducks beamed with pride. They knew that their differences had not hindered their friendship, but had made it stronger. They had proven that when friends work together, they can overcome any obstacle. As the days grew colder, the farm was filled with warmth and cheer. The animals, with full bellies, huddled together in the cozy barn, grateful for the friendship and kindness that had saved them from a difficult winter. And so, the chicks and ducks continued to be the best of friends, cherishing their unique bond and teaching everyone on the farm the importance of working together and helping one another. It was a lesson they all carried in their hearts, long after the winter had passed, and the farm flourished once again. And so, the story of the chicks and ducks became a beloved tale on the farm, reminding all who heard it that friendship, kindness, and teamwork could overcome any challenge life might bring their way.